This is the Turf Zone Podcast, your central information and news hub, bringing together professionals from turf associations across multiple states to share things to help you in your business. Brought to you in partnership with our friends at the Alabama Turfgrass Association. Now, let's get in the zone. Welcome to the Turf Zone. In this episode, we feature an article titled, Beth Gertal, PhD, accepts job with new challenges and opportunities, but misses her students and colleagues at Auburn University. Having worked at Auburn University for 30 years and nearing retirement, an opportunity was presented to Dr. Beth Gertal to get involved in significant international work. So she retired from Auburn in 2022 a little earlier than expected to take advantage of this exciting possibility. She accepted a post with Kansas State University as program director for the Center of Excellence on Mitigation, Adaptation, and Resilience to Climate Change in Haiti. Currently, Dr. Gertal is responsible for managing the center's day-to-day operations and serving as a leader in the national education, research, and outreach community. While it promises to be challenging and exciting, Dr. Gertal says she certainly misses her Auburn colleagues. She has long been a tour de force at Auburn University, as well as in the turf grass industry in the Southeast. She received Bachelor of Science and Master of Science degrees in agronomy from The Ohio State University and went on to earn a Ph.D. from Oklahoma State University. With a Ph.D. in soil fertility, Beth was hired in 1993 by Auburn University's School of Agriculture, Department of Agronomy and Soils, today Department of Crop, Soil, and Environmental Sciences, to do research and teach in that area with a focus on vegetable production. Dr. Gertal stayed in that position until 1998 when Auburn offered a faculty with 25 plus years at the university a generous retirement package. Pretty much the entire turfgrass team at Auburn, Drs. Coleman Ward and Ray Dickens, took the retirement offers, leaving Auburn turfgrass department with no one around except, of course, for the fabulous Dr. Pat Cobb. My department head came down the hall to my office and announced that Dr. Harold Walker would be moving to turfgrass weed control and that I would take over general turfgrass research, including teaching the courses. I had a lot to learn, and Dr. Walker really gave me a ton of help. Beth believes the secret to success is to show up early to every job and meeting, always give your best, and admit when you have no idea what you are doing. Generally, people love to provide advice and help. Besides Dr. Walker doing just that, others also helped her to make a success in her new position, like her department head, Dr. Joe Touchton, and fellow professor, Dr. David Team. Joe was the best department head, and he was fair to everyone, had an amazing grasp of the financial budgets, and knew everybody in the college. More importantly, He knew our stakeholders and the agricultural power brokers in the state. Over time, her position within the turf program grew and allowed for significant opportunities for travel and engagement with a wide range of people across the state, nation, and world. It has helped me so much to grow as a person. However, the least fulfilling aspect of her job, Beth found to be getting funding for her programs. Funding was always needed to pay for her own salary, as well as the technician's salary, costs of running the turfgrass unit, and salaries for graduate students. Over the years, Dr. Gertal proved to be a stalwart researcher and teacher. Her hard work and dedication were rewarded when, in 2017, she was named the Auburn University College of Agriculture's Rowe Endowed Professor. The endowed professorship was established by 1978 Auburn alumni Mike and Leanne Rowe to support tenured faculty who have demonstrated strong commitment to students, teaching, research, and service. At Auburn University, Beth says she loved, loved, loved teaching, really any kind of teaching. Students are simply the best, even when they are busily screwing something up. Their enthusiasm, Love of new things and general upbeat demeanor made every day different and fun. I really do miss the students in my job. 
The current Alabama Turfgrass Association president, Ben Williams, had the following to say about Dr. Gertal. Dr. Gertal was my academic advisor and multi-class professor. If you never had the opportunity to meet Dr. Gertal, let me tell you, you missed out on knowing one of the most passionate people in the turfgrass industry. The energy that she brought every day made everyone around her excited about discussing, debating, studying, and learning turf grass. She encouraged, mentored, and cared for every student that wanted to achieve a career in turf grass. I will never forget one time when I got a question wrong on one of her tests. I approached her about the question, and we debated. Eighteen years later, I still remember the topic involved best management practices of thatch removal. While she entertained my thoughts, to my disappointment, she disagreed with my answer, but did so with a smile. And I still remember that encounter after so many years because of the attention and honest reflection she gave my argument. Afterwards, I felt relief, having first thought this debate might have upset her, but to the contrary, I soon learned she encouraged this type of discussion with those in her classes. Thank you, Dr. Gertal, for your dedicated service to our turfgrass industry in the many capacities that you touched over the years while at Auburn University. Thank you for all the research and knowledge you bestowed on turfgrass professionals everywhere, and thank you especially for your guidance and influence that gave your turfgrass students greater passion for the turfgrass industry. Beth remains a member of many turfgrass organizations, including Alabama Turfgrass Association, Golf Course Superintendents Association of America, Sports Turf Field Association, and others, continuing to present and give talks within those groups. Just last year, Beth was awarded the 2022 Crop Science Society of America Presidential Award, which is given to the person that CSSA thinks has most served the society. This was a complete surprise, and I was very honored. As a member of St. Dunstan's Episcopal Church, Beth contributes to St. Dunn's Buns Baking Group. This group takes monthly orders for baked goods, and the proceeds from the monthly sales are donated to charities around town. In 2022, we donated over 15000 to various groups. I will say that my white chocolate pistachio biscotti is a top seller. In her leisure time, Beth also runs and likes to go mountain biking. Beth has been married for 27 years to Brian Anderson, and they reside in Auburn. They have two sons, Sam Anderson, 20, at Auburn, majoring in biosystems engineering, and Will Anderson, 22, an ensign in the United States Coast Guard, currently serving on the USCG Polar Star Breaking Ice in Antarctica. My time at Auburn University was a blast, and a great deal of that enjoyment was due to the ATA. From the annual shows, Auburn to Birmingham to Mobile to Biloxi, I've done them all. To all the driving for the turf grass road shows, it was a great time with great people. For all resources associated with this article, check out our show notes. Don't miss an episode. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at theturfzone.com. You've been listening to The Turf Zone. For more episodes of The Turf Zone, visit theturfzone.com and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app.